Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And Verizon was awarded another public sector contract with the DOD for a value of $495 million. Now, what's interesting about this, I didn't want to go into much detail on this. You can, I'll leave the link to this in the description down below and you guys can check it out. What's interesting on this is AT&T and Verizon seem to be snatching up these bigger contracts with the government. AT&T just got the VA contract worth close to a billion. Verizon just got this DOD contract close, close to 500 million. Who's not getting these contracts, it seems like? T-Mobile. T-Mobile said that they would be more effectively competing for these types of contracts, which of course would help them financially in a big way in terms of modernization. The only issue with that is perception and across a lot of the military landscape in the United States, T-Mobile doesn't have an existing network where Verizon and AT&T, they've already built in a lot of these bases that they have services there especially verizon they've had the uh the government contract for the for the for the devices and phones with the with the government so they've had to have uh service and towers at all of the military bases across the united states at&t is now having to do so with FirstNet. t-mobile they still lack cell sites on the actual basis i can tell you guys here in el paso where i'm located all of the surrounding bases have no T-Mobile service. There's there's just not a, a, a site close enough to the base where I could make a recommendation that it's adequate service. Yeah, it, it reaches at fair coverage, but it's as soon as you go in building, it's it, it's a wrap. You're, you're either going to have unusable service or it's just going to drop to no service. Where Verizon and AT&T have invested, uh, you know, pretty pretty substantially to get services up and running in these areas and bring towers and cell sites to all of these bases if not on the base but nearby to cover it with adequate service so again verizon at&t snatching up these bigger contracts t-mobile i think they got a va contract for 5g if i remember correctly but it was not anywhere close to the size of contract that verizon and at&t are signing so let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading your comments. Um, this is very interesting. I just I just want to hear you guys' thoughts and inputs on this. Is this showing you that by perception, Verizon and AT&T are still um, sort of the first options for some of these bigger contracts? Or is T-Mobile just completely overlooked? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, share, subscribe, make sure you do so. Hit that notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Make sure to follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. Thanks again for watching. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.